was born and raised in Children of God, later known as the Family International. I grew up without my basic human rights. I didn't have a, an education. Um, I didn't have medical care. I, you know, the, the environment we grew up in, all of us children, was extremely abusive. Um, it was like growing up in a prison. We were always behind high walls with barbed wire and never saw the outside world. I was at a kind of dark place in my life and coming from my kind of background, I had been through quite a struggle adapting to society. I was pretty depressed. I had lost a couple friends and, um, and yeah, I guess I wanted to escape from the world and at the same time I needed to rediscover it or rediscover my place in it. I set out to circumnavigate the globe. Um, it started really as a challenge to see if I could churn out that much mileage every day without really being a cyclist or an athlete. I heard that there hadn't been a woman who had done the record yet, so I thought, well, I can go for the record if I make it great. If I don't, it's fine too. It was more of an adventure than anything else. I mean, I only got on a road bike 10 days before I left. I didn't even know how to ride a road bike, so, and I fell a lot. I got really good at falling. <laughs> I don't know how I made it around. I was probably as surprised as everyone else. <laughs> I think it was rather anticlimactic coming back. But then you get depressed after because it's hard getting back into the normal, into the real world, let's just say. Um, so of course, you start looking for your next big challenge. For me, it's more about the fun and the adventure than anything else. I just love that feeling of just pounding out mileage on the road and puts you in an amazing headspace and the simplicity of it. I love getting lost. I love just going with my bags and not knowing where I'm going to end up. I think that life is what you make it and you reach a certain point where you decide how you're going to react to whatever's happened to you in life or what you're going to take away from it and how you're going to use it to move on in your future. So the future is all that matters at the end of the day.